So it's 2020, a uh, brand new year. And the way that 2019 ended is kind of interesting to me because most years, social media is always in a state of panic <laughs> or because every year is just the worst possible year. But the end of 2019 was, from my point of view, seemed really optimistic and people have been like, okay, this year is my year. And it's really contagious. And so I'm gonna have to agree, 2020 is gonna be my year. But the main topic of this video is for those who might have a goal for 2020 to get back in art. I think it's a really common thing for people to be interested in art and then suddenly stop doing it. I've definitely accidentally quit art before. Like most artists, I don't have a superhero artist origin story. It's always the same. I started drawing when I was a kid. Yeah, I know. Everyone starts drawing when they're a kid. The difference between starting when you're a kid and being an artist when you're an adult is that you just don't stop. And for me, I became more productive in high school because I had another friend who also liked drawing. My friend and I saw each other every weekend. It was kind of like having a deadline. We would go away during the school days, fill our sketchbooks, and at the weekend we would switch our books and just take a look at what we were doing because we really enjoyed the sharing process of it. And after we moved out and we started getting day jobs, you have completely opposite schedules, you live in different cities, you don't see each other anymore, and so that deadline for working in your sketchbook just went away and we just naturally drew a lot less and that was the hardest part for me was trying to get back into it and a lot of people just say that about themselves saying I used to be good at drawing and now I am not anymore it sounds very final it sounds like a characteristic of yourself it sounds like something that you can't change and it's just like exercise like when I was a teenager, I used to be able to go to dance class for three hours and not stop or drink water. And now I couldn't do it for four minutes. I probably could if I started practicing again, but it's hard to get started. And there's not a whole lot of motivation because you know that at first it's going to suck. It's going to hurt. Why put yourself through that? And art was the same way. Like it was completely like that. I started trying to do daily challenges. I found those really hard. I got really desperate and so I signed up for college classes, fine arts. I would go to work 40 hours a week during the day and I would go to classes for two or four hours, four days a week. My husband would tell me like <laughs> when I was doing school he never saw me. I had to do a four foot painting every week and that just kind of gets you used to making the time. And you can do that with ways that don't involve going to school. You can make yourself deadlines. You can start a YouTube channel and pick a schedule. You can start a blog instead. You can join a sketching group like, like our local meetups. You can do an online sketching group like what we're doing on Patreon. Like this month we are doing water themed work in our sketchbook, which keeps me... Sometimes in the beginning you just have to practice just doing things. You can start with things that you like, things that you're comfortable with. I try to pick things that I'm less comfortable with, but also kind of inspired by, so that there's at least an interest there. You want to be more well-rounded artist, <laughs> right? So it's easier and nothing is too daunting to try. And I always say that if I don't have an idea of what to draw or paint, it means that I'm not going out enough. I'm not looking at other art enough. I'm not hearing enough stories. I'm not reading enough books. I'm not getting out there. I'm just living in this little vacuum, in this little house. Do whatever it takes to regain that childlike wonder. When we're kids, we don't have issues thinking about what to draw because our imaginations are going crazy, asking lots of questions like why? Why is why is this flower shiny when this flower is not? Why does this bird have eyes? Where do eyes come from? Like we had so much wonder when we were kids. So I guess for a quick roundup of ways to get back into art, it doesn't matter what you're using. One, work on practicing and making time. Pick a schedule and see if you can stick with it for a short period of time and see if it gets easier. 
because it's just like exercise. You just got to start somewhere. And as you accumulate work that you've been doing, it's sort of like an instant reward and you'll see it and you'll want to keep going. Uh, two, figure out what inspires you. What do you wonder about when you're in the shower? What weird childlike ideas did you used to have? How have you been looking at the world and taking advantage of it and forgetting how wondrous it is? Uh, three, accept and keep track of all of these little tiny ideas. Make a notebook, keep a sketchbook, just make tiny little thumbnails, which is like tiny little rough sketch drawings of your ideas. Every time you have a dream, draw it out. Like every little thing, because later on when your skills get better, you might look back on it and be like, that was kind of a neat little idea. Maybe I can actually do it justice now. And finally, look at a lot of art. I've been following a lot of young people on Twitter and it hurts. <laughs> it hurts because everyone's so good and they're so much better than me and it's making me feel old and out of touch. Just look at what other people are doing, see specifically what it is that you like about it. Maybe it's the subject matter, maybe it's their way of combining strange things that don't fit together but they kind of do. The color schemes, be jealous but in a good way, in like a productive way, in a I can do that and I want to do that kind of way. And be careful with it. Like right now, I mean apart from what I just said about my own art, <laughs> I find it hard to be motivated to do stuff lately. Like 2020, I've decided it has to be my year. I don't know how to make it happen and I'm seeing where I want to be and I'm seeing where I am and the divide is so wide that the light doesn't even hit it and I can't see how to get there how do I get my stuff out there how do I improve to be as good as everyone else right now good luck subscribe to my channel if you want more videos like this Give me questions if you want me to chat about something else. Join our Patreon if you want to be part of our monthly theme sketchbook group. And fill up your sketchbooks so you have that excuse to buy a new sketchbook. And to get better. Yes. <laughs> because a year from now you're going to be like, man, I am so glad. So glad I started this a year ago because look where I am now. That could be you. Thanks for watching, guys. I will see you next time.